Eight years ago, I have just graduated from art school. And after going from gallery to gallery, I learned that there wasn't many opportunities for young emerging artists like myself, unless we wanted to show in a coffee shop or a bar. I had to be innovative, and I had to think of a way that I could support myself and other emerging artists that had just graduated with me. Alas, came revelry. I was able to support all of my fellow artists by this business. We had three great years on Baird Avenue in the Highlands, with opening local art shows every month and supporting my friends. But when Lynn's Paradise Cafe closed, my business completely tanked. I had to find an innovative solution or I had to close my doors. I decided to triple my rent, triple my space, and take a leap of faith, something I'm hearing a lot of entrepreneurs have to do, and I moved to Nulu. With high risk came high reward. Two years after the move, now, we have more than 150 local artists that we support, lots of which have gotten to quit their day jobs and become full-time artists because of the checks that we write them every month. I was able to hire a full-time employee, which gives me the time to grow personally and devote time to my various nonprofits. I sit on the board for Kentucky Natural Lands Trust, Louisville Visual Art Association, I'm the president of Look, and I'm also involved with LIBA, Louisville Independent Business Alliance. I'm also to, able to spend more time with my family, which is a first. In closing, I'm honored to be considered as a finalist among these great women. And I am excited to continue to innovate through creativity, the arts, and business. I'm hopeful that through this innovation, girls and women alike will be inspired to dream big.